what's up everybody today I'm going to do um, a guide on coin exchange uh, I mean coinx which you can apply it on any exchange because coinx uh, the interface of the exchange is very easy and after that as you can see from uh, Aslam uh, he have asked how to buy CT and hydro in coinx please make a YouTube video in detail please yes and I'm gonna make the video now and I'm gonna guide you the first step you need to do on your any exchange please head over to your my account information security make sure that you have a signing password that is very uh, strong and after that bind it with your Google Authenticator which is uh, you must bind it every time you log in or anything they are going to you have to head over to your mobile and after that from there you have to they are going to generate you six digit pin and after that you can enter it to access your account which is much more safer and after that bind your mobile, mobile number and after that I have uh, on Coinex there is a trading authentication which you can uh, set it to like you can change it to every as you can see here never every two hours every time so for me I will just set it at every time because security it is my top priority because this is your money your uh, your funds in your account if somebody log in into it and want to trade uh, sell away some co uh, altcoin or anything they have to use the Google Authenticator if they can get it once to log into your account you are safe uh, you are not safe actually because they have logged into your account and after that when they are going to do a trade they need to have the trading authentication again which is which will make your account much more safer so let's head over to the mining site I'm going to talk about it my earning as you can see uh, once you have more than 10,000 CT token uh, I made a previous uh, uh I made a video uh, yesterday uh, no no previously you uh, it's popping up right here you can I watch the review that I'm talking about why is trade driven mining and the dividend distribution so there's a correction that I want to say the trade div uh, trade dividend mining it is when you have 10,000 CET tokens so as you can see here I have 10,000 lock uh, on my uh, coin coinex mining um, URL as you can see here it is 1,000 lock uh, I mean 10,000 so you need to have at least 10,000 CET to get one share so you can lock your tokens and after that from there you're, you're going to get um, some extra CET um, depending on the mining difficulty and everything so and for the dividend distribution you need to just hold at least 100 CET token to get the dividends but of course the more token you hold the more uh, dividends you're going to get and for the trade driven mining which is you have to lock up uh, 10,000 tokens 10,000 CET token uh, as this is like sticking so you stick your uh, CET tokens uh, minimum 10,000 to get one share so you will get more CET tokens in return day by day so as you can see here <coughs> my dividends so today's div daily div dividends rate is 0 0.4 and I have earned an estimate of this amount of Bitcoin cash and after that I'm just gonna show you the US data I got two dollars this day just by holding on to CT tokens and after that let's head over to the exchange and after that I'm gonna guide you step by step how do you uh, fund your account and after that from there start trading on this exchange so the first thing you need to head over is to your wallet <coughs> because the pair here is Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum and US Tether so let's say you have some Bitcoin Cash on hand and after that you want to deposit it into your Coinex exchange uh, Coinex uh, account so just head over to your wallet section and after that you will pop uh, pop up here my wallet and after that just scroll down all the way you will see Bitcoin Cash if not if you have uh, any like Bitcoin, Ethereum or US Tether on another exchange or on a wallet um, holding you can just click on the deposit button so once you click on the deposit button this is going to generate you this uh, address and you can copy the address and just send your funds over here so as you can see here Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin Cash transaction is hard to is hard to expect due to the network traffic because there's many traffic going on, many transactions uh, done uh, every second, so your deposit will be verified after one confirmation. So uh, uh, once you have one confirmation, it is already inside your Coinex exchange. You can use the fund and trade trade with it. If, uh, if you want to withdraw it, you need to wait until it has 6 confirmation because this is the most secure um, confirmation that uh, the block cannot be, uh, cannot be hacked or altered from the network. So just copy the address over here. Make sure that you deposit the, your funds correctly to the correct wallet address. 
so just read it uh, when you are going to deposit just read Bitcoin Cash deposit and after that this is uh, only for BCH deposit so you need to be uh, there's a minimum uh, limit uh, for each deposit so read it and after that deposit the amount if not your funds is gonna be uh, as you can see any deposit below the minimum limit or non -B uh, Bitcoin Cash deposit will not be added to your account and this is not refundable so always when you're sending money to an exchange or anything please um, look at their limit let's say like this is the limit uh, this is the minimum to send of course you must send above this amount don't send 0 0.001 and after that the trading the transaction fee is going to deduct a bit and after that it's going to be 0 0.0001 or 9 something and after that from there your funds will not uh, appear and after that you have to make a support ticket and hopefully their traffic is low and they are willing to help you to retrieve your fund some exchange does and I believe Coinex they will help uh, unless you are like uh, really accidentally sending some some small um, microtransaction over to the exchange so once you have uh, deposited uh, some Bitcoin cash and after that it's going to appear over here uh, as you can see I made a deposit uh, previously 0 0.5 Bitcoin cash so it's gonna show it show you over here your deposit address and your um, transaction ID which is called TXID and after that everything is uh, uh, everything here is loaded you just head over to your trade alright once you have uh, deposited your it, um, whatever cryptocurrency that is supporting so the supporting uh, cryptocurrency right now is Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, Ethereum and US Tether so you only can deposit this four in order to trade for CET tokens if not other token that is paired with uh, whichever tab it is showing so I have already let's say I already top up some Bitcoin cash over and after that you can just head over to the Bitcoin cash uh, tab here and let's say you want to trade with CT token just click on the tab uh, just click on CT and after that it's going to show you always read at a pair CET slash Bitcoin cash so if you are let's say you're going to trade with Ripple just click on it and after that make sure it's XRP slash BCH and after that just scroll down so there's a limit order and a market order so a market order is basically just buying whatever people are listing over here so the red color zone it is people selling the token so you can just say you want to buy um, how many uh, how many CT you're gonna buy so you can just drag and you can just say 100% so you are going to use whatever you are having so you can see here the available funds for me it is 0 0.008 Bitcoin Cash so if you drag it to 100% it's going to use all the fund that is available for you to use so yeah you just click on buy and simply you are just going to get uh, your order done so they are just going to execute the order and buy it from the lowest step over here so what I normally do I would just head over to the limit order because the limit order allows you to choose which one you want to buy it not really choose but you can wait if you have the time or anything so let's say you have a prediction and you have a feeling that um, CT is going to drop so let's say uh, this buy order meaning if once you uh, key in a Bitcoin cash price so what's the price so once you click on the top order it is going to show you the price um, for one CT is this equivalent to this Bitcoin cash so you can maybe let's say you want to wait so you're just going to pull it like this 0 0.0011 uh, BCH for one um, CET so this is one CET so let's say you want to buy a uh, thousand so you have a thousand and after that of course you need to have this amount of Bitcoin cash on this available tab so you can just click on it um, yeah so you can use a scroller over here how many percent you of the of your funds that you want to use to buy uh, CET token or any token that you are going to trade with so just drag around so as you can see I have already I only have this amount of uh, Bitcoin cash on my wallet which is available for me to trade and after that as you can see here 0 0.0001 1. and after that the amount of CT I'm gonna get is 7.577 so this is for the sell so remember the green because the green tab is for you to I mean buy so the green tab is for you to buy and after that this is all the buying order so from here to the from the top to the lowest as you can see there's some uh, being filled over here and after that some green range is all the way meaning uh, this is the volume that the people are buying at so as you can see at this price uh, 12715 uh, I mean 12175 12, at this uh, price range over here there is around the amount of CTs uh, people want to buy 
and after that the total CET over here so this is like showing you how the, the volume so the volume is going to in, uh, if there's a lot of people buying your order may not get executed as fast as possible unless you are willing to pay more and just head over here and just click on this you can just click on this and after that you just drag 100% and of course depending on how much volume that uh, it is available so as you can see here for the sell um, for this amount over here there is there is 40,000 CET token for you to trade with uh, that is available for you to buy so you have to check on the supply and the demand and after that the demand is over here at the green zone so the demand here is at this price and after that uh, this amount of CET that people want to buy and after that the total of CET uh, in the two decimal place so this is for the three uh, for up to eight decimal place if I'm not wrong yes you see as you can see here eight decimal I would just suggest you to just set it at default and after that when you scroll down you can see the all the order that is uh, on the eight decimal place meaning after the whole number there is a point four or something which is the decimal place and after that you can just click on it and after that if you want to buy you can just head over here and use the scrolling to buy if not you can type it manually how many CT you want to buy and after that of course you must have um, enough Bitcoin cash to buy on it or any if you, let's say you want to use Bitcoin you can use Bitcoin and after Ethereum and US Tether make sure that you have enough uh, uh, primary pair for you to buy your CET if not other token that is being paired with uh, whatever it is on top that you are using so let's say if you have holder uh, long enough and you need to sell your tokens to make some insane gains let's say you bought it at um, let's say you bought it at like 70 cents and after that the price of one CET reached 10 cents and after that you want to sell it at 10 cents so you just add the order over here like let's say this is the amount on the market right now you can just head over here and after that you can just do this 100% and after that this is the price of each CET token or each token that you are trading with price at the Bitcoin Cash if not your Bitcoin Ethereum if not US Tether and after that from that this is the amount of CET that you are going to sell and after that this there's an equivalent uh, US dollar that's sh uh, that is very simple for you to see that uh, how much does 0 0.002 Bitcoin Cash cost on the exchange because they are using their own exchange rate not coin market cap so you can see it is quite an easy interface and after that I would say once you know about this two margin the limit order for the buy section and the sell section most of the exchange you are able to use it and this is a tutorial mainly on Coinex because it is requested by a fellow subscriber so yeah I'm just doing it to do a favor and after that hopefully I can help more people out there so if you like the video or or you find it helpful or anything that you, you are new and your friends are new on trading or anything on an exchange you can just show them the video and after that hopefully it will help you guys to understand how does the limit order work and the market order so the market order let me explain it again is fairly simple just click on it and after that the amount of uh, Bitcoin cash and sell just use the scroller 100% you're gonna buy this amount of uh, Bitcoin cash depending on the the, um, the selling tab so the selling tab is you can see uh, the red color is very little so you can't really buy a lot of um, CT token right now as you can see the demand for CT is quite high so the price of um, people selling it is going to definitely rise because people can't wait uh, unless you have the patient to wait um, let's say you want to wait at 0 0.00011 you can wait and after that your order will not be executed immediately of course time time plays a part you have to wait and wait and hopefully it reaches your the, um, the amount that you want per CET token so for the sell tab is the same just head over here and uh, very simple amount CET meaning you have how many CET you want to sell it let's say you want to sell 50% uh, of it this amount and after that once you hit on sell you are going to they are going to sell it to this order order book over here so depending on the price that uh, and the volume so let's say you want to sell uh, let's say you, want, you have 100,000 of CD to sell so it's going to take one two three four four order to sell um, all your CD tokens so the rate uh, the price is not being shown or anything as you can see for the buy tab is still the same it's not going to show you a price that you are the amount of um, CT you're gonna get but you are going to use the value of Bitcoin cash like let's say you have one 
so you just click on one so you are go you're going to buy one bitcoin cash worth of um CET depending on the order book so for the limit order which is uh, more professional and um, you can pay lesser fee for the market order I'm not sure about the fee I assume that it's still the same 0.1% because <clears throat> and let me explain why it's a taker and a maker so a taker it is a taker's fee is 0.1% and a maker's fee is 0.1% same and after that um, let me explain the term taker taker meaning the person that is buying the like you are buying CET you are a taker so if you are selling CET on the exchange you are a maker because you are making orders or on the order book and that's why we call it a maker and a taker it is a person that is uh, or a bot or a trader is trying to buy some uh, tokens from you so they are the taker so yeah this is just a simple term and after that you can use a CET token as a fee so 50% of the fee is going to be paid by CET so I would not really suggest you to use it because just keep whatever CET you have and of course just hold it and get those um, those free dividends yeah that's all for this video I hope you understand this tutorial if you do not understand please comment down below what do I need to explain more and after that how can I improve and of course there's a le telegram um, telegram um, chat down below you can click on it if you want to chat with me on telegram I'll be there and after that whenever I'm awake and I'm I'm looking at my phone I will try my best to reply you and assist you on any question you have about cryptocurrency so do not spam me, uh, do not send me any rubbish like ICO like for me right now I don't I'm not really interested in ICO as ICO are now very mainstream from the January 2018 until the July of 2018 I seen a lot of ICO and of course the ICO are always selling you ideas not real product as they have not really have a real product they only have an idea so they're just gonna sell you the idea and after that once they come fulfill the idea your money is gone and the token price is gonna collapse so yeah that's all for this video hope you like this video and I hope you help I hope I help you out with your with your question here Aslam yeah so if I if I uh, pronounce your name wrongly I apologize but I assume that it is called uh, Aslam or Aslam so yeah, hope you like this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notification, the bell icon as you can see, something like this, you just click on it, uh, beside the subscribe button, and whenever I'm um, posting a new video, you will know, and after that it's gonna pop up on your notification section, so yeah, hope you like this video, peace, thank you very much for watching.